Give a thought to the hop stringers next time you're in the local. Without them, your wallop wouldn't pack enough punch to knock a fly over. Rules for the stringers' championship allow each man to have a woman helper. Her part in the operation will be seen in a minute. Then the competitors are all set. It takes a lot of skill to handle the giant crochet hook on the end of the 10-foot pole. Last year's winner from the Guinness Farms, Jay Hook, a most appropriate name, kept a good steady pace. A cone of four strands makes up what they call a hill, which the growing hops will climb in the next few months. There's a lot of skill and organization in the production of hops. The banderin binds the strands together. This year, the brewers want 11,000 tons, enough for 7,000 million pints of beer and stout. You lucky people. What a lot to cut daddy's string down. When it was over, they tried out last year's hops. The winner was Ted Blunt. He got a challenge cup and four pounds. In these parts, there's no sense in a cup unless you first fill it, then empty it. At harvest time, the hop fields will be full of promise for the next thirsty year. Thanks to the men who put up 300,000 miles of string.